I work for Sun Country Airlines. I was a flight attendant for 13 years. Um, after bankruptcy, we had to lay off about 200 flight attendants and 150 pilots, which brought my seniority down to where I lost um, $20,000 the first year, and then I was laid off um, at the beginning of April. But we did all just get called back yesterday. We will start back um, November 16th or December 1st. No thanks to Tom Petters or Doug Kelly. Um, I'm really, gl I'm really glad to learn that you know we did somehow miracle. I don't know how escaped what Polaroid didn't. I feel terrible for those employees. I can't even imagine for what we went through. We took a 50% pay cut, then got laid off, and then blah blah blah. Can't imagine losing my job forever. We love our companies that we work for. I guess, I guess I'm just uh, surprised at what's going on with our criminal justice system. And uh, or maybe I shouldn't be surprised. I, I know it's been getting worse all the time, and it seems like it's, it's just snowballing now. It's I really hope, sad. Very, very sad. <clears throat> I hope we get somebody in office that really has an interest in our country. Uh, it was a great film. I really thought it was so well documented on what exactly happened. I feel like I finally understand what this is all about and what's really happened, uh, both with the, the Petters case and the justice system, how that the, the justice system perpetrated this fraud on the innocent investors on a good company. I mean, that's, that's crazy. And I have the same question. What can be done now? Yeah, I think the film is excellent. Um, I think in Minnesota, we don't want to look underneath the surface of a lot of our political machinations. I think uh, I was glad that it made you think about this Judge Montgomery. Uh, that's what I found very interesting in Amy Klobuchar. Uh, and of course, D Doug Kelly is, is someone more Minnesotans really need to look into. Uh, it's a mistake to think that other states are more corrupt than our states, so we don't have to look at what we've, what's underneath our own rug. So anyway, I think it's an excellent uh, film, and Ryan Frost should be commended for it. And there needs to be more support of people in the community to pressure the media outlets to go after these things. And you can't just blame the media. I mean, that's so easy, and yes, the media is to blame and in certain ways, but the public, individuals, have got to start writing to their newspapers and to their uh, state representatives. Like in this case, it's state and uh, state officials and city officials and county officials. I read a, a piece in the women's press recently, and I, I'm a big feminist even though I'm a man, but um, it was so congratulatory about women, uh, about women political figures. But what happens when women political figures uh, are are uh, doing things that they should not be doing. Not to mention the men. I'm not trying to gang up on the women there because we have Kelly here is just an absolutely you know dubious man whom every Minnesotan should look into and find out what the heck this man is about. This is ridiculous that this man should go to power. And any of you out there who think that 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 he should that we should not look into this what this man is about. Uh, when you see this film it exposes how he has really single-handedly contaminated things. Now, I know the people up there in the panel rightly said that this is a systemic par uh, problem, but Kelly is a deeply immoral man. And what's really interesting in this film is you see Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, the, the guy from New Jersey who's in the film. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, and he's talking, and, and this guy would be like the stereotype that you have about the East Coast kind of slimy guy, but he's actually the moral upright guy in this. And you see there, you see what's his name, Kelly, Doug Kelly. He's Mr. Midwest, like an old fence post, and the man is as corrupt as the day is long. And then you see all of these, uh, you see all of these people, uh, what is it? Um, Time to, so much to process with this film. But you see, uh, Doug Kelly comes off as like just a good old boy, and he's the kind of guy that, that people will stereotype as just a good old Midwestern guy, and he is as sleazy as the day is long. So, and he's in bed with this uh, Judge Ann Montgomery, and uh, then other people too. You need to see this film, folks. I mean, you really need to see this film. Thanks. What I find completely amazing is how deep 
and how penetrating the corruption goes on, um, whether it's politicians or the judicial system. People need to start paying attention, and until they do so, it's going to continue to happen, and the corruption is just going to get that much worse. Uh, no doubt uh, this is an, an excellent expose uh, a production. Uh, I would like to see that the uh, ne networks really care about the American people and what really goes on um, that uh, is not reported. And I think that once the American people uh, get the idea uh, that this kind of corruption is widespread, that only then, uh, when citizens participate with their government, will change occur. So it's very important, and this film is, is excellent in uh, uh, making the public aware and that the public can act. Uh, I would let, personally like to see that the public is, is involved in the uh, 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 oversight process and, uh, concerning the, uh, what goes on in the courtroom, because obviously there's no oversight. Everybody's patting, them, patting themselves uh, on the back, and there's no oversight and uh, it won't change until the public is involved.